On this episode of Kemp Outside, we take a look at the knocker rig. We're continuing our Learn to Fish series. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. So today we're continuing our Learn to Fish series, this time with another bottom fishing rig. If you haven't seen my fish finder rig, I'm going to put a link right up here. Definitely check that out. But guys, we're going to cover today the knocker rig. And if you thought the fish finder rig was easy, the knocker rig is even easier. Check it out. So the knocker rig is very similar to the fish finder rig that we did in our last video. I'm going to use the same leader with a snelled hook, but this time instead of attaching a swivel and having the weight above the swivel, we're going to put the weight so that it slides right down to the hook itself. So what you're going to need is a leader and snelled hook. You're going to need a weight. And I like to use a bead because the bead protects the knot when the weight is slamming against the knot. So I'm going to take a bead and I'm going to stick the line through it just like that. And let it slide down and then I'm going to take the weight and do the exact same thing. And as I pull my leader through, you're going to see the weight will go right down to the bead and then right down to the knot itself. So let me grab the hook. And so as this slides, you can see the weight can slide away from the hook. And that's why you want that bead on there because as that weight slams down on the hook itself, it will hit the knot and it can degrade the knot. And that's where you can have a knot failure on a big fish. So I always use the bead to protect the knot. That plastic protects the line. And so that is a knocker rig and so how it works is as you drop the bait down you can have anything on there you want you can have cut bait or live bait doesn't really matter but what that does is it, it as you drop that down that puts that weight right in contact with the bottom or whatever structure you're fishing over and as it sits on the bottom as you continue to let line out line will slide through the weight and so this your weight will be sitting on the bottom and your, and your bait can be swimming along down here. But you don't have a whole lot of leader line out so that you can actually feel the strikes or whenever anybody is uh, trying to hit that bait that's on that hook, whether it's a big fish or, or whatever, you can feel that. And then so it gives you a lot of uh, a lot more control and a lot more feel for what's hitting your bait than the fish finder rig. Now, when I want to connect this rig I do it a number of different ways and it all depends on what I'm tying so I'll take the end of my leader which is right there and if I am tying this to braid I will tie it direct and I'll do a uni to uni knot which I have a video on so if you haven't seen my video on the uni to uni knot definitely check that out but if I'm going to tie it to other monofilament I can do it two ways so typically I pick a stronger leader line than my main line. So if my main line is 30 pound test line, I may go with a 50 pound test leader. Or if I have a 50 pound test main line, I might go with an 80 or 100 pound test leader. It all depends on what I'm fishing for. So I like to use uni to uni knots for direct tying for monofilament to monofilament or from monofilament to fluorocarbon or from braid to mono or braid to fluoro. So I like to tie the uni to uni knot. Definitely check that video out if you haven't seen it. But you can also use a swivel to connect your main line. Let me see if I can get that in focus. There we go. You can use a swivel to get the uh, main line connected to your leader line if you want. Now, if you put a swivel in place, your weight will only slide up to the swivel. Whereas if you have a uni to uni knot, oftentimes the, the hole is big enough on the weight so that it can slide up past your leader uh, and up onto your main line if you use a small uni to uni knot. If I'm fishing for a fish species that is really hard to detect, maybe they have a really light strike, I like this because I feel like my weight is more uh, in line with my hook. 
And then this is a great option. So a lot of folks fish with jig heads for the same reason is so that they can actually feel the strike. But you can get pretty large egg sinkers. And so this is a great way to use a, a larger weight to get your bait down in the water column, either from strong current or, or uh, fishing in really deep uh, situations or both. So guys, that is the knocker rig. So guys, as you can see, the knocker rig is a very easy rig to tie and a very easy rig to use. These are fantastic rigs for getting your bait down in the strike zone, whether that's on structure or down on the reef or uh, wherever. And guys, just like the fish finder rig, you can use this rig for a variety of fish. If you're fishing in some shallow water or light current, you can go for a smaller weight. Or if you're fishing in deeper water and heavy current, you can go with a bigger weight. And then of course, whatever fish you're targeting will determine the size of the hook you use. So uh, again, a very, very versatile rig. We use a lot in saltwater, uh, but I've actually started to use this rig in freshwater as well when I need to get my baits down deep. Fantastic rig for cut bait and live bait fishing for a lot of different fish species. So guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. Thanks for watching this video. This video is all about helping moms and dads who maybe don't have a whole lot of fishing experience learn how to fish and get their kids outside so that they can experience the joy of fishing. As a matter of fact, our mission is to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. So if you have any questions about how to get your kids outside, how to get your kids fishing, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. You can also connect with us on our other social media. We have Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to that is down in the description below. Or you can connect with us on our website at www.kempoutside.com. If you have any questions at all, guys, we would love to hear from you. Also, be on the lookout because we are giving away free gear. We want to make it easier for you to get outside, and so we're giving away gear to help with that. So definitely check out our gear giveaway video so that you can enter our contest and win good gear. So guys, Camp Outside releases new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday right here at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on YouTube. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite review videos. Our Thursday videos are on a wide range of topics from camping, hiking, and fishing, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and a whole lot more. And so this is where we're continuing our Learn to Fish series. So if you've missed all the other videos, guys, we've got lots of videos on how to tie knots, different types of fishing rigs, how to put line on a, on a fishing rod, all kinds of different things. So guys, check that out too. It'll really help you, especially if you don't have a whole lot of experience with fishing. Guys, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you and release new videos, and hit that like button if you like this video. And also, guys, I want to thank my sponsor. We are sponsored by Fish Huge Apparel. Fish Huge makes fantastic fishing apparel to keep you protected from the sun when you're out fishing or doing other outdoor activities. They have great long sleeve fishing shirts, as well as face shields that protect your neck, ears, and face from the harmful rays of the sun. Guys, if you're spending any time outside, you need to protect yourself from the sun and having uh, some Fish Huge apparel is a great way to do that. Fish Huge guys, thanks so much for being great supporters of Kemp Outside. We love to support you guys. Thanks for supporting us. So guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.